Hello guys and welcome to another Wizard Watch video. Today we're going to show you a Zilz watch. This is the Mako, the titanium version. So before we start, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and turn your notifications on. Then you can get future updates about upcoming videos. So let's start. Let's open the box and see what we get inside. As you see, this is a, a Zilos package looks very nice compared to what we pay here we have the wooden box which is really nice in my opinion let's open it up inside we have another pouch let's move the rest the rest of the things aside very nice very high quality in my opinion here a watch let's see what we have here more we have the links that I already removed like five links here we have also the warranty card that is very unique in my opinion I've never seen a warranty card like this before very nice one so let's move the pouch aside And boom so this is the Mako the titanium version we first screw down the crown and as always we first are talking about the movement inside we have the Miyota 9015 it's a high beat movement doing 8 bit per second 42 hours of power reserve 24 joules hacking and winding of course power shock system the accuracy rating is minus 10 plus 30 seconds per day and the accuracy rating for this piece this watch doing plus 4 seconds per day now let's move to the time grapher okay as you see guys the time grapher shows us a uh, plus 11 seconds per day uh, on the hand actually this watch doing plus four seconds per day and as you see we also get 0.1 bit error which is really nice so basically this is a great movement in my opinion and most of the times doing great timing let's move now to specification as I already said this, uh, this is a titanium case and bracelet the finishing are really nice as, we, as you see we have uh, polished bevels over here on the links Polish bevels here on the case too. Very nice finishing as I said for a titanium watch. So we get here foam grey dial with uh, blue hands and indices. 300 of water resistance as you see also on the dial. We have a sapphire crystal, boxy style crystal, as you see. Very nice crystal, in my opinion. There is no much of uh, AR coding over here, 
as you see we get uh, some reflections but not that much we have C3 and X1 and B, B, G, W9 loom and indices and bezel screw down crown sign also and also loomed which is really nice now let's talk a little bit about the bracelet as you see it's a very nice bracelet in my opinion you have fast really spring bars over here screw links which is really nice you just need to check the watch from time to time and also make sure you tighten up very strong as we see we have also very nice clasp over here with the Zillus logo with the fast release push buttons also we have here diver extension which is really nice I use it really nice uh, clasp we have also screw down case back so we really get great case and bracelet and the clasp also really nice very high quality in my opinion we get 120 clicks loom steel bezel very fine action no alignment issues really great bezel as you see you can grab it and rotate very easily so let's move now to dimensions we get 40 millimeter case 40.3 probably in some corners you get 40 trying to catch in them over here the lug to lug is Forty-six. The thickness thirteen point eight, and strip size is twenty. Let's check the crown size also. Six point three, and the weight of this watch with all the links is a hundred and thirty grams, which is really nice in my opinion to a titanium watch, because if you have a titanium watch and you can barely feel it on the hands, it's kind of give you that uh, weird feeling. This is my opinion, so. Uh, if I have a titanium watch I will prefer that it will have a little bit weight so then uh, you know I can feel it on the wrist okay let's have a wrist shot now and boom This watch sits perfect to my 6.8 inch wrist really sits like a glove wears like a glove this is also very close to the arm not heavy or too light it's perfect perfectly balanced in my opinion C 
see above the bone and below the bone okay let's remove the watch now now we'll have outdoor shot and then we get back here and here we out under the sun now we can see the watch in a different light you can see the finishing the brushing the polishing Zillos did an amazing job on the case on the bracelet also the clasp lo looks really good in my opinion we can check now the foam gray dial that looks amazing in my opinion plays really nice with the light now we can check the watch again on my 6.8 inch wrist whereas like a glove really perfect not heavy at all nor too light really in my opinion this is one of the best released from Zillow's and then we're back now we'll have loom shot let's kill the lights okay and as you see this is how the watch looks only being charged from the studio light and it looks really nice in my opinion the hands could be a little bit bigger because I from what I think they are too slim and if they were a little bit bigger then it will uh, how how I can say this you could see them better during the night so this is something that the Zillos can improve on their next release Let's boost it up to see the loom in its full glory. And boom. Amazing. This watch glows like a torch. Also, as you see, the, the crown is loomed also, which is really nice. I have to say that the chapter ring is also loomed, but for some reason, cannot see it. The loom is too weak, but you can still see it. As you see over here, yes, right now we can see it, but it fades away really quickly. In my opinion, too quickly. What's the reason for that? They can uh, put more loom on the chapter ring to make it more visible, because right now, really, can barely see it. So, it's a great loom. Zeus did did amazing job. They have some small things to tweaks over here and there, as I said, uh, as I said on the hands and the chapter ring. But as far as it goes, this loom is excellent in my opinion. Okay, let's turn on the lights now. Okay, guys, so let me wrap this up. This is the Zillos, the Mako, the titanium version probably the fifth release I think maybe the fourth the fourth or the fifth I don't remember but this release is really a great one uh, they did amazing uh, job on this release the colors also looks amazing you can still go to the website and see some other colors they did and really every one of them looks amazing this watch cost me uh, $450 uh, right now the price is $550 uh, 
so this with Zillos you need to be very fast if you see that there is a release coming you need to be quick and you know make the order if not after two weeks or something the price is going up so also the most of the colors are sold out so this is why I'm saying you need to be quick and fast if you want to get one if you want this color you cannot have it it's already sold out maybe you will find a pre-owned watch you know in the groups in the Facebook or something like this but you can still find other colors and you can order them no problem at all I think uh, in this release uh, Elshan did uh, produce uh, much more units compared to the the old ones so my uh, this is why I think you can still uh, buy the rest of the colors so go to the website check the check them out maybe you will find a different color that you like and buy a Mac watch because this titanium version is really great the polishing the brushing all the finishing is really excellent in my opinion So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, I will see you in the next one, goodbye.